Welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a general reading for whoever is meant to see this. And let's see what the messages are from Spirit. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. We're going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> okay, so you guys have two, <laughs> like two, two messages. You have the star card. There's a wish that you want. Um, Aquarius energy, something that you have been thinking about. You have faith in this vision or whatever it is that you're trying to manifest a wish of some sort with the star card. I'll clarify that in a second. Then you have these two cards came out, the tower and the world. So if someone was sending you negative energy, because this card, I'm using the cosmic tarot, by the way, this always looks like an evil eye attack is what I'm getting. If someone was sending you negative energy, something broke up, a relationship, a family dynamic, a situation, something didn't happen the way you wanted it to be or the way you wanted it to happen. But with the world's card, this is over. Like if someone was sending you negative energy, it's over. If there was a breakup, it's over. If there was something that happened in your life that was like something just like literally like it looks like your house is on fire, like everything was a mess, it's over. Like all the drama is gone. This cycle is completed. Okay, so let's see. What is the star card for the collective spirit? Angels and guides. What's the star card? We have the Queen of Swords. What else? Spirit. Messages for the collective. There we go. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords, Libra Energy, and the High Priestess. I feel like if you subconsciously, in the back of your mind, you were daydreaming about a person or you want someone in your life, this could be your other half with the Yin and Yang, Twin Flame, High Priestess, Spiritual Union of some sort. I feel like you're going to have a wish granted, Libra. I don't really see this as a negative energy. This might be a Libra reading, um, but if you're watching this, it could be for you. If you have strong Libra placements, um, what's it called? Is it a stallion? I'm comment down below what it's like when you have like three libra placements or something like that um let me know because i'm still learning about natal charts but um this could be libra sun moon rising and venus or you were just drawn to this reading for some reason right um with the three of swords i feel like if you were hurt in the past whoever i am reading for or you suffered some type of financial loss is what i'm getting with the king of pentacles i feel like that is no more yeah with the ten of wands it's like you overworked yourself or you were just really exhausted or you're stressing out about a situation with the five of wands there was a lot of like drama maybe there's an argument or competition in the past if it's regarding a relationship um with ace of swords and truth and clarity archangel michael is here protecting your space and the empress you know the truth about a situation maybe where the other woman with the three of swords energy but with the eight of wands i do see you moving forward getting away from all of this drama. It's like you dodged a bullet, Libra, whoever I'm reading for, this Empress, Queen of Swords, Libra, Taurus energy. You dodged a bullet and with the, and I said this Empress and I have an Emperor. So the Empress with Eight of Wands and the Ace of Swords, you saw something or your intuition is telling you the truth about how to proceed forward in your life. But I also see you communicating with your Emperor and moving towards a solid commitment or union of some sort. As I say that the Four of Wands, you have new love Libra, whoever this Taurus, Virgo, okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Libra energy coming through for sure. With Emperor, that's Aries, Taurus, with the Princess of Swords, this is a Page of Swords. In regular tarot, you might have somebody watching you at a distance, but I also see that um, you have love with the Four of Wands. This is a relationship. If you were heartbroken about something from the past, because this person was a player, I feel like that situation, I'm hearing situation ship. That situation ship is over. Whoever I'm reading for this um, Libra Taurus energy or whatever, I don't really get too stuck on the signs, but whoever was a player, they're going through judgment. They're getting their karma for hurting you. If they thought it was a joke or they thought they could get away with it. Um, no, that's not gonna happen because the universe does protect this empress energy you are a high priestess you don't mess with the high priestess and with the three of pentacles this could be impacting this person's job right now i'm hearing job performance or um they could be getting laid off or suspended from work is what i'm seeing there's something where this person is going to be taking a pay cut because um they could have hurt your um I heard financial gain. This person could have taken money from you or they hurt your solar plexus energy. They drained you energetically. They kept you stuck in a bubble. They didn't really care, but that's over with the 10 of swords. They're not gonna hurt you anymore. If they were in a third party situation, that probably could be ending as well. This person is getting karma left and right for whatever they did to you. What slipped out? Yeah, eight of swords. This person is now having regrets for the way they treated you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What else, spirit? 
with the two of swords i feel like this person is now contemplating really conflicted about their decisions what they've done this is a strong spiritual union with the two birds here and the moon and the two of swords it's like they're really conflicted about their behavior 505 you feel this person's energy sometimes and what are you feeling that this person loves you and they chose wrong and now they miss you it's like you're sitting pretty here in the nine of pentacles this feminine energy and the masculine is like what am i doing why did i choose somebody else i should have chosen my divine feminine and i was blinded because i thought the grass was greener on the other side and it wasn't this person was functioning out of ego with the seven of wands now this person doesn't know if you're willing to hear them out again because you might be defensive and you might just tell them to kick rocks is what i'm hearing with the princess of wands this to me is the page of wands in original tarot they want to give you a message but i also see them realizing that if they switched you for somebody else like they put you in a third party because maybe the other person looked younger or i don't know for whatever reason this person was foolish now they want to come back to you because they realize that they are attracted to you they were a fool and they want to come back and apologize but at the same time it's like they don't want to admit it and if they don't admit it with a death card, I'm hearing this person's going to get cut out. For those of you who are devotees of Santa Muerte, if you've seen any of my videos on Pick a Card for Santa Muerte, I did one video. I might be doing another one um, in the near future because I feel guided to do another one. Um, but for those of you who are heavy on Santa Muerte, like you guys are devotees of her, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm hearing she cut this person out because they were being a fool and I'm hearing no one is going to humiliate and downplay on a divine feminine energy especially a child of mine so if you are really connected to her um general you know messages whoever this resonates for because this is very specific for a small group of people um she's cutting out these I'm hearing these these I don't know why I just heard these jokers these phonies um I just heard that song from the Steve Miller band. Is it called Joker? I think so. Um, King of Swords and the Lovers. Whoever hurt you is going to watch you be happy with somebody else. I don't even see this as being strictly Gemini energy. I see one person watching you happy with somebody else. So that's going to be their karma. Take what resonates with the seven of swords because i lied to you please like and subscribe because i do see you being happy someone is coming through to just like be that person for you and the other person is going to be sad because they're going to be sitting there like fiddling with their thumbs because they're getting karma from the most high you have a strong ancestor here that is protecting you from anything negative or low vibrational they're getting karma and they're going to have a hollow victory and you are going to be successful with the six of wands so those are your messages let me know if that resonates please like and subscribe thank you so much for supporting my channel i send you guys so much love and light and thank you um for watching this video and yeah that's it <laughs> bye guys